Hello, ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? This is Ray Dolan live coming to you from Bloomfield. And as you can see, it's magnificent out here in Bloomfield and what a great place it is. We uh, are promoting what's good and great about our town, our people and our business. So uh, this is a beautiful thing that's happening here in Mullingar and they are heading to Africa. And I'm here with John and John is going to come in on our screen. John McCauley, the legend. John, how's it going? <laughs> great, Ray. Great. Thanks so much for going out here to Bloomfield tonight with my friends that are, uh, were heading off to Tanzania on the 26th of June. 26th of June, early in the morning. How long are you yep. going for? We're going for... Uh, 14 days. How many people are going on this 16, tour of duty? 16 this year. 16, yeah. yeah with some students as well. And so a mix, good mixture of people. Yeah. Uh, how long are you going to um, Heavenly Homes is what you call this charity. It's uh, based really on a, a trip that you had to Africa. You were taking pictures and you passed an, uh, an orphanage. That's right. 11 years ago I went to Africa. 11? Wow. To do wildlife in the Serengeti. I spent 15 days there and on the way home, I saw a little orphanage and decided to go and leave some money, as any Irish person would do, because the Irish are really good at this. Unbelievable, yeah. We did laugh and came out crying. Mm -hmm. uh, I knew my whole life changed, and it bothered me, very seriously bothered me for yeah. a year after. Wow. So I've been going, I went back then the following year on my own, and uh, told friends then what I was after seeing and doing, and the support I got from Mullingar and people in that area, in this area, was just unbelievable, without asking. So this is why this year, people are, I'm not asking anybody to come, everybody has contacted me, wow. genu genuine people that wants to come on that journey. And uh, I'm so, so, so delighted to have them with me. So really. tonight is sort of a recce, but you had one on Friday night as well we with did. other members. So we have yeah. a few members here who are heading off. So I'm going to start That's off right. and have a quick chat. This sort of give you an idea of, of who the people are going out to Africa. So, hello, my dear. How's it going? Hello, how are you? What's your name? <laughs> Belinda McCabe. Where are you from? I'm from Monon originally, but living in Kilbegan. Kilbegan, that hasn't flattened that accent in you yet. I know, no, no. You're, <laughs> you're doing very well, girl. You're doing very well. You're trying. You're heading to um, Africa. Are you excited? Yeah, oh, complete. Yeah, really, really excited. Yeah. Now, you've gone on holidays before and you probably have travelled on uh, two week holidays and three week holidays to different places, but this is going to be totally different. Oh, completely. And that's, that's the reason why we wanted to go as well. We wanted to do something a bit more worthwhile and wholesome and that as well. So. Uh, you've done some charity work uh, well you've collected sort of few pounds as well yourself um. we have indeed and even myself and my partner we actually for our wedding we did our wedding favours in lieu to, to John as well for, for the charity too so yeah Brilliant. And uh, are you going to feed yourself fairly big time before you go? Oh, yeah. It might, it might <laughs> be. Bulk up a wee bit. <laughs> How long when you come back? <laughs> Maybe. I will see. We'll see. This is as good as a diet. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thanks, Belinda. No and moving on to our next contestant. Hello, Hi, my uh, dear. How are you? <laughs> Very good. What's Hi, your name? Uh, my name is Kira Reid. Kira Reid. And where are you from? Uh, I'm from Streamstown. Brilliant. And why are you going on this mission? Um, God, I've always wanted to go. My cousin Caroline has been going for years over to Africa and she said it's a once in a lifetime opportunity to try and make a real difference. So that's the plan. Class. And are you at school still? I am. I'm on a gap year at the minute, hoping to go back to college in September. And uh, where are you in college? Me? No, I'm on a gap year. Yeah. Oh, gap year oh, of your college. Where are you in college then? No, I'm just going to start in September. Ah, yeah. right. You're only a young one. Yeah, one of you. <laughs> right, thank you very much. No Moving on to our next contestant. Hello, what's your name? Hey, I'm Kerry Shocknessy. And uh, where are you from? I'm living in Kilbegan, but originally from Galway. Originally from Galway, here in Galway? Uh, Ornmore. Ornmore in the county of Galway. <laughs> and tell us, you're heading to Africa, why? Um, I suppose when if anybody wants to rewind back in the video and listen to John speak, and it's his passion about it, and I think he instills that passion and anybody he talks to about it and as soon as we talked to him we said we have to go we have to help how did you find him how, where did he appear from a uh, cousin of mine emily fallon she went out with them two years ago and uh, she came back a better woman for it <laughs> <laughs> uh, you've done some uh, ra uh raising a cash as well is that sort of a criteria that you have to do when you meet john and send, send you off now and bring some cash you need some cash boy no Go. like because even he was saying to us like it's it's the help you go out there with like it's the work you do out there like you know so um no there was never this like bottom figure you're not coming unless you do this like it's all about the person and it's all about being out there and helping the people out there you know legend thank you very much girl so moving on to our next contestant sister of girl over in the corner yes uh, what's your name jessica maloney 
Jessica, and uh, you're going with the sister. Is your older sister, or younger no, sister? No, we're actually just friends. All oh, right. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, you have a friend anyway out there. Yeah. That's the most important thing. Uh, why are you going to Africa? Um, you could go to Ibiza easier. Well, I heard I've heard of John's story a good few years ago, and I've been talking about doing this for a long time. And I think it's for something that's worthwhile and it's a good cause. So I think it's something that we should all be doing. You were washing cars last week for? Uh, yeah, last Saturday. Were you washing the cars or just uh, collecting the money? We had a few employees, so it wasn't too bad. Oh, employees! I yeah. like it. Organisation. This girl will know how to organise people as well when she gets out there. So are you at college or what are you at yourself uh, at the moment? Yeah, I'm in first year of college over in Scotland. Oh, what are you doing? Uh, radiography. Wow, very smart. Where did you go to college? Uh, it's in Aberdeen. Aberdeen. Yeah. So you haven't changed the accent either. No, I don't think that it's would be changing. It's a great accent over there, and it's cold. Yeah, it is cold for sure. Were you down the the ballroom down there, Aberdeen ballroom? With, we played in it once. Mm. It's very close to sea, and it is cold. We played up there once. I do be out in the sea, but no, not the ballroom. Right. Were you surfing? Uh, just swimming. Legend. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to James. Well, how are you doing? James, you came down the train. You brought your own train down here I to Mullingar. I got the second one, so that was all right. For um, me. How was the train journey? It was grand, slow. I suppose, yeah. Very slow, slow down, isn't it? Especially because I was on it, yeah. Where um, uh, did you come from? I'm from Roscommon, but I was in College of Maloot. What are you doing there? Accounting. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah, I thought it was just priests up there. <laughs> Not anymore, no. <laughs> how was college life? It's grand, yeah. This what year are you in? I'm in second year. Second year, so you're the first drinking year away? Yeah, yeah, that's sorted, all done. Have here. to get the knuckle down now. Yeah. Why are you going to Africa? Well, Megan, my girlfriend, she brought it up. There's Megan. Um, <laughs> she brought it up, and I always thought it was a great yeah, idea because my my aunt did it. She's well, a teacher. Yeah. She went over to Uganda and did it. So she went to Tanzania. Sorry. Mm. Um, so I always thought it was a good idea. So you going to take this time off college then, or are you coming into a holiday zone, or what? I'm after. After exams, yeah. After exams. Yeah. Are you ready for the exams? Not at all, no. Good man, good man. That's right. <laughs> now, the girl who got the man into the job, what's the story? <laughs> How did you manage to do this? What's your name? You. Uh, my name's Megan Shocknessy. From where? From Galway. From Galway. How yeah. did you manage to find John McCauley? Well, it's actually my older sister, Kerry, um, herself and Belinda were, had been speaking about going out. And I know my cousin, Emily Fallon, had gone out and... I think when you hear of such an amazing thing, you know, why wouldn't you go and help? Excellent. Well, you're all friends here, and that's even better because uh, the bonds are made already. And uh, so when you get to Africa, you'll be working as a group. Yeah, yes, definitely. indeed. <laughs> and uh, that's fantastic. But there's one woman I want to talk to over here, and this is Mammy. Oh Mammy, are you going to be heartbroken or what? No, she'll be absolutely fine. There won't be a loss in her. She'll be great. You've given her all these life skills now to go yes. off on her own. Yeah, absolutely. And no. you're not worried that she's not going to eat her dinner over there, no? Well, she's very capable of cooking the dinner, eating the dinner, doing everything. Not a bother in her. She'll be fine. Well, there you are, folks. We're coming to you live from Bloomfield, and the gang is here, and they're heading for Africa. John has some more information before we go. It's a little promotion, which is very important. Thanks, Mammy. John, what's the story? Just read, let people know. I, uh, yeah. On the 22nd of April, we have a mega quiz in the Anbrook Hotel at 8 o'clock. Class. Uh, we're looking forward to seeing as many people as we can. Is there many more events going to be on before this? Uh, yes, the girls are arranging things themselves, mm -hmm. but this is the only one I will be doing before. It's the last one we'll be doing before we go. So this is in April and you're flying out in? We're going out in the 26th of June. June, so uh, April, May, June. Yeah. So a lot could happen before that, yeah. folks. Yeah. Some people might say not going at all. Don't say that. We're after <laughs> missing two years. We're going this time. Excellent, John. So how many people are going? There are 16 going this year. A lot of That's a huge are. crew. Yeah, Is this yeah. the biggest crew that you've uh, had? Well, I have to stop it at this stage now. There's a lot of people who want to come, but I can Ah, fantastic. Comfortable to be with people. Once again, folks, thanks for looking Thank in. If you want to help John, is there a phone number or a contact in any uh, place? Yeah. Uh, Give you us a phone can see number. See it on my Facebook, John McCauley. Mm -hmm. And uh, Facebook is up on Facebook, everything that we're doing. And my phone number is 087 61 57 349. Uh, email? John McCauley Photos yeah. at Appreciate your time and help with everybody. There you are folks, we're going to head off now and thanks to all the crew here they are legends. Well done to you all guys and thanks for uh, going live with us from Bloomfield. This is Ray Dolan from Mullingar and Mullingar, what's good and great about our town our people and our charities Bye for now